Brady family that he met at Pipestone. Joseph Nicollet abandoned his plans to uh, head straight west to uh, travel to the area of Sioux Falls and instead traveled uh, two days to the north uh, where he came to uh, a place that later became known as Lake Benton. Uh, one thing to know about Joseph Nicollet in his map is that a lot of the uh, place names that he used were people that were um, family, friends, uh, close associates. Uh, so Lake Benton was named after a man that he knew, uh, Senator Thomas Hart Benson of Missouri. Um, and later on, he also knew another Benton, uh, Jesse Benton, who married um, one of his expedition members, Johnny Freeman, uh, before, of course, he became the uh, governor of California. The Benton family was only the beginning of Nicollet's illusions. Next, we'll see Senator Preston of South Carolina, his benefactor, Joel Ponsett, and his boss, J.J. Bear, which is now pronounced Albert to South Dakota residents. In central South Dakota, you'll see Fort Pierre Chateau, named after the wealthy fur trader Nicollet befriended in St. Louis. In southeastern Minnesota, you'll see more allusions to some of his friends, such as Carl Geyer, the botanist, John C. Fremont, the explorer, as well as references to his infamous countrymen, Le Seur and Lahontan. In northern Minnesota, we find a reference from his 1836 trip with the name of Masabe, the son of Nicollet's Ojibwe translator, Brunia. Near the headwaters of the Mississippi, Nicollet drops dozens of references to his scientist friends. Geologist Charles Lyell, explorer Alexander Van Humboldt, chemist Benjamin Silliman, geologist Char Charlotte Murchison, astronomer Francois Arago, who stole his job in Paris, Laplace, his mentor, Charlie Babbage, an acquaintance, Elizabeth Sabine, his close friend, La Salle, the French explorer, Governor Cass of Michigan, whose map he was trying to improve upon. Uh, you also see uh, Ferdinand Hassler, the cartographer from back in Washington, D.C., Reverend Boutwell, the missionary who he rescued in 1836, and of course, people he recently met, such as Henry Sibley, the fur trader, and Major Lawrence Tolliver, who helped him on his first expedition. Even people who didn't travel with him ended up on this map, such as Albert Lee, who simply worked with him at his offices in Washington, D.C. Along with a who's who in the life of Joseph Nicollet, he also recorded hundreds of authentic Native American terms, both Ojibwe and Dakota, that still remain to this day. And of course, there is the most mysterious illusion of them all, in big, bold letters, the Undine, a reference to fantasy, legend, and the lore of the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs>